is response the same as remission? So we throw around a lot of terms in myeloma, remission, response, and it actually turns out the terms are interchangeable. So let's, let me walk you through how we think about it. The way we evaluate somebody's response, remission, is based off of that bad protein that the cancer cells make. So let's take off when you start a new therapy. If you don't go up or down by 25%, we say you have stable disease. So if your paraprotein, your M-spike, your free light chain doesn't go up or down by 25%, that's stable. If we decrease that M-spike by between 25 and 49%, we call it an MR, minor response or minor remission. Terms are interchangeable. 50 to 89% is a PR, partial response, partial remission. 90 to 99% is a VGPR, a very good partial response or very good partial remission. And then, of course, once you start doing bone marrows and find out not just about the protein levels, but the cancer cells themselves, are they completely gone? We call that CR, complete response or complete remission. We recognize that this can be a little bit confusing. You know, am I responding? Am I a remission? And yes, even if you still have detectable myeloma protein, if your M-spike goes from three to one, we'll say that you are in remission. It may not be a complete remission yet, but you're already in a partial remission, and it's a wonderful thing. Another author uh, confusion that uh, patient, people have, patients and otherwise, is about the word response and the word remission. Really, the word remission comes from the, from the leukemia literature. You know, uh, we all accept uh, and are used to leukemia being a curable disease that you treat, it goes away, and in many people it doesn't come back, acute leukemia. So the word remission really comes from that literature. Many of us myeloma physicians uh, uh, have come from a word where we treated leukemia. So that word was very deep-seated, so to speak. The, the, the official nomenclature, the official uh, response category, does not use the word remission, it uses the word response, okay? So you have a partial response, a very good partial response, and a complete response, meaning there's no detectable paraprotein in, this, in the blood or in the urine, and the myeloma cells are less than 5%, and there's still the stringent complete response. Oftentimes, we, we use remission as an unofficial term, meaning the same, the complete response. But, the, but that's not an official term. Um, for the most part, it's considered a substitute for a complete response. I get the question a lot from patients, am I in remission? And, and then what I try to uh, tell them is to explain there's different levels of response and you have a partial response uh, or you have a complete response. And I try to, um, to emphasize the positives of it, but tr the, try to get away from using the term remission which sometimes people misinterpret as being, I'm cancer-free forever, which unfortunately is not the case even for patients who get a complete response. I think we, we need to be very clear with what we're talking about when we uh, discuss responses with patients because there are certain terminologies that have a totally different meaning for, uh, for patients uh, in, you know, in essentially layman terms. So many patients may equate remission to cure. Um, and we do recognize that myeloma uh, at this point is, uh, is not a curable uh, disease. We can put patients into long-term remissions or responses, um, but you know, the disease can come back um, at a later point. Um, the same is true for, for other uh, malignancies as well. So you know, I, I actually have this conversation with my patients and clarify uh, when we're talking about remission or response. We're not talking about cure. We're not talking about the disease is gone. You know, it's been suppressed to a very low level. We can detect it, uh, but it still can come back. <laughs>